And Randy joins us now with sports. Mm -hmm. uh, big trade for the uh, Guelph Storm. Is that going to give trades. the uh, Rangers any problem? Oh, I, I'm sure it will. I mean, Andrew yeah. Penner is the guy they pick up, the goaltender, who was a player of the week in the OHL early this year. So a pretty good player and a busy day for the Storm as the OHL team swings a pair of trades. In the end, Guelph acquires two players and gives up a pair. First, Guelph picks up Andrew Penner, the goaltender from North Bay, in addition to a fourth-round draft choice. And North Bay gets Colt King and Jeremy Day. Then Guelph acquires left winger Alex Butkus from Barry in exchange for that same fourth round draft choice. Now the Owen Sound attack scored a big win over the slumping Kitchener Rangers last night. Daniel Siska had a big night for the attack with uh, three goals and two assists. Six for the final. Rangers are winless in five. They will host Erie tomorrow night. And here's an updated uh, Memorial Cup bid race. Plymouth on top with 38 points. Guelph, the Sioux, and Sarnia all with 30 points, although the Storm have only played 24 games. Rangers have uh, played 25 games. Only the top four teams after 30 will be able to bid for the Memorial Cup. The winningest goalie in NHL history has decided not to play for Canada in the upcoming Winter Olympics. Patrick Waugh won four games at the Nagano Olympics, but Canada did not win a medal that year. Waugh says it's nothing personal against Team Canada. He just wants to prepare for the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. With Patrick Waugh out, Curtis Joseph and Martin Brodeur are expected to represent Canada. Junior B hockey action tonight. Cambridge will visit Brantford. In OUA women's hockey, Wilfred Laurier travels to Guelph. There's a good senior A hockey game on tap in Cambridge tonight. The Hornets will host the Dundas Real McCoys in a rare Thursday night home game. Now, both teams have lost just once all year. Those losses were to each other. Game time at the Galt Arena Gardens tonight is 8 o'clock. Another women's hockey season is well underway, and starting tomorrow, some of Ontario's best female hockey teams will be in Kitchener competing in the 8th Annual Fall Fest Tournament. CKCO's Melanie Hanetka has more. These girls all have one goal. Team Canada is one of my, I want to play on Team Canada in the Olympics. And while skating for Team Canada is still a few years away for these future Cassie Campbells, this weekend's Fall Fest will be like their own mini world championship. Uh, we decided uh, eight years ago, this is the eighth annual tournament, we decided that uh, to try and get the girls involved at the time it was a friendship tournament, get a few people involved to showcase the city and uh, showcase our girls too. That friendship tournament has now turned competitive, attracting 32 A and double A teams from across Ontario. At this level, you are, you are going to come up against some of the best teams in Ontario, uh, teams from Ottawa, teams from Chatham, uh, London, and uh, you're basically playing against the best of the best, so you, you have to learn how to win, you have to learn how to lose at the same time. Organized tournament aside, these girls are excited to have the chance to play in front of a hometown crowd and in the same arena their idols played in in 1997. And Yes, because I get to miss school and it's fun playing different hockey teams. <laughs> I think the teams there will be a challenge for our team so we can get improved and um, it'll be fun being at home so you can go home just between games and stuff. Besides missing school and going home, this tournament will give the girls a chance to test their skills against some of Ontario's best teams. Action gets underway Friday at the Kitchener Memorial, Kiwanis and Kingsman Arenas. Admission is free. The finals are slated for Sunday. Melanie Hanetka, CKCO Sports, Kitchener.